Okay guys, I've got something that I need to clean. These are some rocker boxes off a of shovel head. So you can see the previous owner polished these at one time. So I'm gonna polish them up again. But before I do that, you see all this crud in there? All in there. And you can see there's just overall there, I need some good cleaning before I start polishing them. So, I'm gonna try some baking soda. I have an air gun here. Got some hose around here. And I'm gonna to try to use baking soda to blast these parts clean. I do have a media blaster. I was gonna use some glass beads to clean them up, like I did the rim. Um, then I powder coated that. But anyway, gonna give it a try. Let's see what happens. So, a little while ago, I did the soda, the baking soda blasting. That is one messy job. It turned out okay. Um, it cleaned up. This area had dirt and stuff. It cleaned it up decent. I don't know if, I guess I would do it again. I don't know. It's messy. It didn't do as good as I thought it was going to. Um kind of hard with this light right here is where I hit with the soda over here I did not um, when I polish this out this will all blend in what I've noticed this one I polished up I didn't really see a difference of where I had the soda blast and then I polished I, I tested different areas so the soda blasting yeah, it helps to clean in the areas that it's hard to get to. Um, also, what I did, let me try to get a good picture here. I'm polishing the aluminum in there with these little things. Um, it's actually working pretty good. You can see how it's rough. That's the original casting. And then I'm just sanding it. Pretty much this scotch bright. So this is the before. This is the after. It's taking a long time. Oh, I'm also using this stuff. White diamond. And I have some polishing things for my Dremel. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Dremel to smooth out some of this rough casting. I'm gonna go polish these. Um, so let me just show you what I was doing. Um, I bought these off Amazon. They actually work pretty good. The inside, I'm not gonna do like a mirror finish, but I don't want it to be rough like this because it's hard to clean and you can see dirt gets caught in there. So I'm gonna use these. Um, this is the most rough and then this is the finest. Um, I'll put a link on in the description, um, but it works pretty good. I showed you the one earlier. We'll go ahead and change these out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the brown. It was actually pretty easy. Uh, these things are cheap. I like to do things the cheapest way instead of paying someone a bunch of money. So I'm going to show you. I'll just do this part here. And it takes a lot of time, but I have more time than I do money.
Let's go with the green. And we'll just jump to the black here. Yeah. So you can see. So over here is rough. And this is the sides a lot smoother now. So it's not perfect. It's not going to be, you know, a mirror finish. And then what I've been using. White lightning actually works pretty good. I found what works pretty good. You get some on here, put it on a little thick, not thick, but you know, enough. And I take the Dremel, I use the Dremel to polish it out. And what I usually do, what I found works pretty good is once it's kind of dry and once the buffing wheel starts taking it off, then I'll take a rag. So right here you can see where it's polished and right here I did not. So you can see it's a good good difference using the Dremel with the polish. And right here is where I just polish using the Scotch Bright pads, and over here is nothing. So it works pretty good for just paying, you know, ten, twelve dollars for forty of them. Here, let me show you the one that I finished. Okay, here's this one. I'll probably go back over it. But this one looked the same way, and you can see all that's in there is polished. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole process to show because it's the exact same thing as I did here. It's just you do it all through the whole thing. Um, and I'm also going to do this. I did a little bit down here already. This was really rough cast, so I sanded it out. I'm going to polish the same thing on this. Like I said, I'm not a professional. Just trying to save a few bucks. I'm um, doing it this way. is a lot cheaper than having someone else do it. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you want. Um, I'll have more videos coming up through here. And I'll show you the process of the bike.